asking the cast some of their favorite memories. In fact, one of those cast members has just arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, give a huge round of applause and welcome to this white carpet in Leicester Square. Right. It isn't uncommon, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, reprising his role as Sulu, please welcome John Cho! here with our star, John. Welcome to Leicester Square for the premiere yeah. of Star Trek Beyond. We're very excited here. How are you? I'm pretty damn good. Thanks for having us. Let's just talk about reprising your role and being back here. What more do we learn about you this time? Um, hey, Kirk, it's Chris Pine! Returning to the Enterprise as Spock, please give a huge London welcome to Zachary Quinto! Starring as the evil crawl! Give a huge London welcome to the one and only Idris Elba! Who is an imposing uh, figure of a man. I know, seeing him as a baddie, he's incredible. Well, thank you so much. It's a busy carpet, your fans are away. Thank you so much, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, bringing his incredible vision to Star Trek Beyond, please welcome to London's Leicester Square, Director Justin Lin! Ladies and gentlemen, please give a huge West End welcome to Lydia Wilson! Joining the cast as Jailer, please welcome to London's Leicester Square, Sophia Boutella! Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Lydia Wilson. How are you? Very well, thank you. What I loved as, as, as Sophia. So the sun has come out in London's Leicester Square and the stars of the film are arriving. And as you can see, there are a fair few of them. So to help Laura. Everything, everybody's empowered, and all their journeys are important because they've been around for 50 years. But Jayla is a brand new character, and I'm so proud to be working with Sophia and bringing her to the world. 
Daffy do not want to get on the wrong side of her. And of course, it is the 50th anniversary. How does it feel taking on this movie as director when it's such a special year as well? Well, it's, it's, in a weird way, it's, it's been the most personal film to me. I grew up with Star Trek, and uh, it's, it's, it's definitely a pleasure and honor to be able to contribute to its uh, legacy. Yeah, at one point I didn't even realise it was him. I just like living legend. Uh, Idris Elba is such a good villain in this. If that's that's an oxymoron, isn't it? Yeah. But at the same time, he was such a good villain. Villain? Villain. Sophia behind you there now who, who comes and stars as Jayla. Let's talk about the ladies in this movie. There's some kick-ass ladies. <laughs> well, I, I think there's something for everybody in this film and we wanted well, we, to make sure. We started off calling her Jennifer Lawrence in Winter's Bone because we wanted that kind of, you know, sort of resourceful young girl. And then we started calling her, let's just, we called her Jayla when we were talking and then that became Jayla. <laughs> so Jayla is named after Jennifer Lawrence. And great to see you looking a little bit different. Who are you wearing? I, I think I recognize this designer. This is Christopher Kane. You look amazing. Oh, well, let's just stand here and have a little girly chat for a while. Uh, back to you guys. We're going to have a little chat about clothes for a bit. welcomed in how was it being part of it because you're this is it for life now you are fear of death is illogical well, let's, just talk about, let's just talk about your role of Kalara and also for, for Sophia you girls had some serious makeup chair action we did the pickup time was 2 45 a.m in the morning to get into that chair to have all the prosthetics and yeah that's the time you should be going home lydia well it's funny you should say that some people they're spending a lot of time together that must have been a new and exciting for you yeah it was a blast uh it was great to see those characters who uh are so different and uh, are quite often, uh, you know, uh, uh, argue each other and, and are at different sides of, uh, of, of the argument to, uh, you know, are forced to have to work together in order to survive. And uh, yeah. <laughs> You're waving to everyone. We've got people up here. How are you doing, man? I think that guy's pretty loaded. <laughs> How loaded are you? Star Trek series, what would, what would you say the best thing has been for you? 
Uh, best thing for me uh, about playing Bones uh, would probably be uh, working with these guys. You know, working with uh, you know such a just a great bunch of people, and I'll, I'll be I think forever uh, grateful One to the high to points of this movie. Did you get to ride that motorbike much? I did. You know, it's. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the first one to say I have a lot of talented, braver people than I doing stunts that I am, have no business doing. So I do as much as I can, and then I let the professionals get out there and, and risk their lives and hopefully make it. I co-wrote it, I have to say, Doug Jung. Big props to you, Doug. Um, my co-writer and my now great friend. We didn't know each other when we started. Now we do very well. Uh, it's been extraordinary, you know, and um, we're so lucky to get to work with the people that we do on this movie, not least our cast, who are just the greatest people on earth. So, yeah, I feel extremely lucky. This is a lovely night. Well, it's, what's amazing is uh, speaking to all the cast and speaking about this.